Hi guys, welcome. Welcome to the Python scripting series for Maya. We'll be working on creating controllers. Uh, we'll be writing some scripts to create and design our own shapes. So let's get into Maya. So here, these are the shapes, if you see. And if you check on here, they're just single curves. Yeah, they may have some shapes in on it, but they're all single curves, right? So I'll just put in one layer so that we will have as a reference. Now, you may be thinking that, let's take this as a, this is a shape we'll focus on first, okay? Can you see these are the three circles? So let's come back here. We'll create a curve. Okay, right now what I did was a double click on this curve, reset, okay? And I just created a curve, that's it. I didn't do any changes, got it guys? Now, I'll duplicate it, 90 degrees. And also, I'll duplicate one more time, 90 degrees, right? Press F, so I got this three curves. So I got this three curves. Okay, what I will do is that I'll just select all these curves and delete it. I don't need it because I know the shapes, what we want, because I don't want anything to be. So let's take, we got four shapes, three shapes, which are like this. Now, how can I combine? I can't go and say edit or curves, attach curves. No, it doesn't work like that. Attach curves is, uh, you can work on curves which we have, let's take, mm -hmm, create curves, see we curve like this. We can select this type of curves which are open curves. And we can come here and say, attach okay okay originals keep originals are still there there's a reason we got a duplicate copy but that's what it's done but not the total different curves like this to work on and uh, make as a single object so it's 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 not straightforward so how to do it first first and foremost delete the history and freeze transformations so we have clean and green, perfect curves. Now go to the script editor. I'll create a new Python layer. Uh, right, just input maya.cmds as cmds. <coughs> this you guys know, we are just importing the Maya libraries into Python, right? The next thing is that I put the script here. I'll just mm -hmm. okay. So what rather than uh, using this curse, I'll use this curse later. But you got some idea now. But let's take. I'm just creating. If you see here, I input the curve and circle one with normal rotation. If you see here, normal axis, I'm changing it X, Y, and Z so that if you see here, these three curves will become come like this. Okay. Got it? And with construction history as zero means right now there won't be any construction history. That's the thing. Uh, for this initial purpose, I'm using this thing. Okay. So now I got the three curves, which we did it. So why I use it, you'll understand it. Let's take, now we, then we'll use list relatives. See what, how we can connect these curves is with the, through the shapes. If you see here, control A, you got this shape. We need to get this shape, not this curve. So right now when you select it, we are selecting this one, not the nerve circle shape. That's the reason we use list relative circle. This is the circle I'm selecting and S shape true. 
So I'm just, so because we got three curves, I'm putting this three shapes in three curves. So if you want to check, you can always come back here. So double click on shape and click on run it. You can see it's now shape. This is the second curve. Got it? Now, once we have the shapes, okay, once we have the shapes, what we will do, we don't need all the three shapes, we just need next two so that we can use the first one as the parent. So what we did was that here, we'll use this command called cmds.parent and we are use this shape and this shape. Means we are not using this transform nodes, we are using the shape nodes and parenting it to the the first object, any one object, okay? So I'm using this shape, shape three, and the parent is this circle, got it? And then R stands for relative, it's true. If you want, you can just put true and shape true. One is for true and zero is for false. So what I did, so I'm just parenting. If I select this line, and run it get this if you see these three curves now you can see what will happen now now suddenly you can see nerves of some name but this is one curve now but these two are just a simple group nodes or a transform nodes if you see here that transform nodes which we don't need it so we can just delete the transform nodes And then you can rename it. So I named it as special control. And then <coughs> we don't need it. So <coughs> I deleted everything just to show you once again. So these three lines, once again, you don't need it. I'm going to show one more script where we don't need this one. We'll, we can sh create our own shapes and do it. So here I'm just creating a shapes. like this means using scripts you can create your own shapes and then without with a history of and then we are getting our list relatives and we are parenting and deleting the transform nodes and then rename it right so this is one script if I run it it's there okay is it clear guys so this is a basic understanding. The concept is we need the uh, shape control shapes and then we need to use parent with the shape true on. That's a simple thing. There is no direct command here. It's through this script line. You can do it. So let's do our own shapes because this one you can say that Ram, we are using circles and also I need my own shape. So let's come back here. I'll come to the top view. I'll create a circle. Okay, I did like this. Then I'll go to create curves. I'll go to EP curve. Okay, edit point curve and change it to linear. If it's cubic, you know that it gets like this. I don't want like, I want a hard shape, hard shape so I can go to linear. Then I, I'll use X, I'll hold X so that it's snapping. That's it. I'll just use a little bit of shape. Got it? I got this shape and this shape. So I, if I want, I can always come back here, Control D and turn it to rotate 90 degrees. Once done, you can always come back and say shift D, shift D. Got it? If you want, you can always come back and change it to the perfect values. Got it? Now I got this shape. Can you see? This shape is of how many shapes? The design is of four shapes. Now, the next important thing always delete the history and face transformations it's compulsory guys 
<laughs> okay, let's jump onto the new Python line. What I'll do, I'll just copy my command so that first you're going to input Maya commands and then we'll put all the selected objects or selected shapes in this list. Selected curves, we'll say selected curves. So if I double click it, you can find that nerve circle one, blah, all the things, okay? Next step is, I just copy these three lines. It's, it's a step, easy step. I'll call it as main parent because I'm going to put the first element. It can be any element, guys. There's no restriction, but I'm just going to put the first element, which is the zero eight position in this main parent, okay? And then from this list, I'm going to remove that element because I don't want it because I'm going to use this as a parent and I'm going to use this other four elements shapes to parent it to the main parent. Now I'll remove it and then I created an empty list called selected list shape. Can you see? I put shape and this is a simple list. So I'll just run it. If I click on this select list, see previously we had this one, two, three and four and five elements. Can you see? But now if I just double click this single word and run it, you can see you've got only four elements now. Got it? So the main parent will have this nerve circle. So that is done. The next thing is that we need to get the shapes. So I'm going to use for loop for selected element. You can call anything, but I said cell in select list in this list. And I'm going to create a variable, a dummy variable called S shape. And using list relatives for every cell element, I want the shape. I'll remove this thing so that I can show you why I have to put the list indexing. So, and then append it to the empty list, which we have created here. So if I run this one, and if I double click this empty list, now it's appended, so you should see the shapes, but it is in list of lists. Can you see? If you see here, there's a list of list, which we don't want it. We just want this element. That is the reason I put the zeroth index. Okay. So now if I run this one once again and double click this shape. Okay. I need to just deselect and select all the things. So if I double click this one, you should see only the elements. Can you see? Now we got the main parent and we got the shapes. It's now a simple process. Now here, I'm going to, we are going to parent it with this list of shapes to the main parent with shape as true and relative to true. Guys, if you want to know more about this parenting and all the things, you need to go to Google, search for Maya Python technical documentation. You should see something called Python in Maya, not this documentation. No. Okay, if you click on this one, And scroll down, you should see something called technical documentation. So I expand it and Python commands. Here you can search for parent, parent, and can you see R for relative? That's what we use. S for shape. Can you see? If you want to use the full full word, you can always use it. But why? If you know it, that's fine. So I'm going to parent this one. So run it. Here I did one blunder. I think I didn't freeze it. I told you guys, <laughs> but I didn't do it. Now, if you see here, I got this list. But whereas this curve, empty nodes are still there, which are from this list. Okay. 
that's the reason we'll use this command called delete and we'll delete this list it's gone right now this are i'm just clearing the selection and the main parent i'm using x form to center the pivot right now yes we got this pivot here but sometimes let's take you select some other object or anything happens we better to make it it's it's good habit to make just put the pivot in the center of this shape got it so let's do the same work what we did previously which is this circle i'll move it here and put 90 control a and 90 and i said by default or it's a common process delete the history and freeze the transformations then you just need to select all that command and just run it now here we got some error it has got it's saying that one more object that's fine i'm happy that we got this error so that i can show you what need to be done so if you select this thing go to attribute editor this is called nub shape 3 nub shape 4 nub shape 3 you cannot have the same shapes so the best one is just delete it create one more circle now it has got some other shape so freeze it that is can i see different shapes so i can select it and run it got it if you want you can always name it uh, control circles this is control different shapes i put star so you can't go on doing it got it so you can you can design your shapes let's take uh i'll come to the side view front view or the side view whichever view i'll go to select create if you go can i see here one two three four five one two three four five can i see i got this shape control d We'll rotate this 90 degrees. Can you see this? Generally, you will see these are two curves. So delete the history. Modify, freeze it. Once you freeze it, you can always select this and run this command. Oh God, what is this? Name? Okay, it is saying that it has got some error. So if I go to Attributor, Shape Fine. Control shape two, because yes, because we got this control shapes and all things. That's the reason we got we added this error. So that's fine. You can just delete it. Okay, let's see. I think we got the same thing. Freeze it. Edit delete tab by history. We are getting the same error. So I'll just name this as uh, sum. Sometimes we get this weird errors. <laughs> so we just better to just name it. Now freeze it. See, it's, it's better to know the problems and solutions rather than everything is fine. So if you get something error, so just rename it. Okay. Okay, now we got different shapes, so you can go on adding. Now, if you see here, uh, there's nothing is there. I'm just going to freeze it. There's no history. Okay, these are just shapes. Okay, so hope you understood. Uh, the main concept uh, is that if you, you need to know that Maya is everywhere now. Sorry. So Python is everywhere, whether it's in Maya or Blender or Nuke. 
or motion capture. So I encourage you guys to practice a little bit more, work on it. And also I'm soon starting, uh, most probably next week you will see my new playlist, which, which is uh, called Python for Life, where it will be, the series will be focused on uh, training you on Python on its own so that you can take that experience and put it into Maya or Nuke or the machine learning technologies or motion capture. Uh, computer vision is which uh, one more series which I'm going to soon start where we'll be using the technology to develop our own motion capture systems. So hope you enjoy and learn something. So see you soon guys. Take care. Bye.